So, I can tell you now that I arrived here, it was, I believe it was 1.15 when I sat down in this chair last, well, this morning, early. I was probably asleep by 1.30. I didn't wake up until it was after 7 o'clock when the sun came up over the top of those trees. Normally at home, I sleep in a recliner chair, I get maybe four hours sleep. This morning I got closer to uh, six, five and a half, six, maybe a little bit more. I guess it's because I was sleeping outside. And the funny thing is, I told you earlier about how I had uh, taken note of the wild critters going by me in the night. But I continued to sleep, but yet I recognized the fact they'd been here. Well, the skunks, they told me as they were arriving. Hey, yo. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, I didn't make enough of a noise to bother them. They didn't choose to spray me, thankfully. And, uh, like I said, uh, all the other critters that came by, too, during the night decided not to have a piece of me for lunch or late dinner or whatever. Unfortunately, the soil here is just hard enough and just dry enough that they didn't leave any tracks. I wish they had. All I've got here are the drag marks where I drug these poles in here to this spot from another spot where I'd had them. And, uh, yeah, and, and a couple of dog tracks from uh, a couple days ago. You see, it was raining. And therefore the ground was wet enough and moist enough, muddy enough, for the dog to leave prints. Big dog. I'd say it's probably a Dane by the size of the tracks. Oh, wait a minute. I think those are raccoon tracks from here. Let me turn you around here. You see where the stick is? Well, just beyond the stick are some tracks. They're not real clear. But they could be raccoon tracks, or maybe use a skunk, or God only knows. Now the coyote that went by me, I can tell you he stuck to the outside of that trail. And therefore he was in the leaf litter. That's how I heard him coming. And I turned my head just enough to realize it was a coyote, and I just sat real still and let him go on by. See, I didn't bring a firearm with me this trip. So if I was going to do anything about him, I'd have had to reach back here for this bad boy. If I can get a hold of it. To deal with him. Because my uh, spirit is over there on the pack. And right there behind me is the uh, stick that I put it on. Now, at that time last night, the stick was up here. But what good would it have done me with the spirit on the pack? I didn't think to put it on. Then again, like I say, I am in a publicly accessible private piece of property. Can you hear it? Big truck. Told you, I'm not far in from the road. I'm only about a mile from my truck. If that. I didn't calculate it. I didn't measure it. But, hey, whatever works. And I'm just up the hill here from a nice little babbling brook and it sung me to sleep and kept me comfortably uh, kept me good company all night so there you have it until it comes time for lunch we'll catch you later Now, and a lot of you are going to be curious about the new hairstyle and clean shave. Well, it was as of two nights ago when I took the beard off. The simple fact is, um, since the old man croaked, you know, here we go. Even when I go to the woods, I can't get away from the plains. Well, that's just a little single engine Cessna headed in for the local airport. Uh, since the old man died, it's up to me to, as the oldest son, step up and take on the mantle of the leader of the clan. 
and so it's only appropriate that I wear the appropriate hairstyle. Now, my hairstyle is not meant to emulate any given tribe, but the fact that my makeup holds, uh, is it 12 or 14 different tribes? I'm just going to try and emulate a, a combination of all of the above, so to speak. Trouble is, and I keep telling this, and people think I'm just joking, uh, it's the one-eighth European that shows in my face. And we all know what the Redneck Dictionary defines European as. Hey, dude, turn the other way, European in my boot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I stole that one. No doubt about it. Just thought I'd make sure you all understood what was going on with the, the hair deal. By the way, don't forget to...